Well, good morning, everybody, and uh, it is with great pleasure that I'm here. And I'm not sure, uh, for those of you that may be new to uh, this building, uh, actually, this is the uh, one of the leaders in our community. They were the first to implement solar. Uh, if you didn't realize that, they have all their solar panels um, over on the roof there. So, th so that's uh, a motel that uh, has shown great leadership in our city. Uh, from the uh, commercial industry, so you know it's a great place to be uh, hosting this event. And I was going to yesterday uh, the rain that that was here. That's not the normal uh, way that we welcome people. But then I thought maybe that was appropriate, uh, an appropriate sign for such a <coughs> conference to to have the rain that sometimes um, is lacking in our valley and certainly has posed problems. Uh, because it is lacking so uh, you know you sort of have to have that balance uh, from our community but all of you whoever has not attended uh, any conferences in our city I, I certainly hope that that you learn a lot from this particular one and I'm going to just take a few minutes to just talk a little bit about what the city of Kelowna is doing and I know many uh, there are many representatives in this room and I'd, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Councillor uh, uh, Graham James Jane, put up your hand, he's City Kelowna Councillor, and Fred Chad, who is our technical staff, there's Fred, um, and works very hard on our behalf um, from the staff perspective to do some great things, and we're very proud of, of moving forward on a lot of initiatives, so I just thought I'd run, a, run through a few of them, and if any of you are interested in more detail, uh, we can always contact um, one of the members uh, from our, our community. But uh, we have a, a water sustainability plan, and uh, it's a blueprint for the city, and it actually, um, our goal is to reduce water consumption by a further 15% by 2012. And we are tracking water consumption, and we're implementing demand management programs in our parks, and we're also focusing on single families and strata development. We're enhancing customer education through social marketing programs, using incentives, we try to uh, use the uh, carrot versus the stick, through direct assistance to customers such as promoting compost tea, drought tolerant grasses, and you'll start to see our landscapes uh, changing in that direction. We've done 45 irrigation audits uh, in our parks. We're also linking water conservation to development approvals through water technology and retrofits, landscaping, and conservation planning. We're ensuring a f an effective full cost pricing with volume use by targeting high and excessive users and metering technologies. And we're trying to reduce our water system leakage in our own utility. Uh, we're promoting and ensuring the use of water efficient fixtures, such as plumbing with retrofits in all our facilities. And we also are identifying water reuse opportunities, such as drainage from detention ponds for irrigation and construction of localized holding tanks. Landscaping and irrigation standards are being implemented, and I think we're the first community in Canada that have uh, promoted that uh, our development community will, will be required to have certain standards uh, when they make application. Our major creeks in our area, and actually on each side of this area, I call it the M to M connection. So to the north is Mill Creek and to the south is Mission Creek. Those are our two major water systems. Mm -hmm. And we are uh, keep reviewing what opportunities we have for those particular creeks for restoration. And recently I was out on an agricultural uh, tour and it was interesting as we try to redefine the boundaries of our creeks it starts to cause implications elsewhere and certainly uh, with our agricultural land along Mission Creek area if you start to allow the creek to meander versus being channelized which is our, our sort of plan it starts to implicate uh, some fairly good agricultural land so again it's about trying to find that right balance uh, within our own city I'm sure there's representatives here we have five water purveyors and for those of you that uh, are involved in local government issues around water purveyors, you know, we're trying really hard to work together and recently we all signed a uh, memorandum of understanding so that we can work together to try and achieve the needs that uh, each of our systems uh, require. Our Water Smart program, uh, I think, has been very effective. Uh, it's been very useful in, in promoting uh, changes in our water usage. And recently, uh, we have a brand new facility called the H2O. It's a big uh, use of water. It has a big uh, pool in it. 
And in front of that facility, one of our staff had suggested uh, they, that we call it the un-H2O Zero Skate Garden. And it's actually stuck and it's a great uh, uh, way of promoting. It's about trying to promote uh, different landscaping usages for uh, different water uh, needs. So if you get a chance to go out and visit that facility, you'll see a beautifully uh, landscaped garden it, that describes how we could change our planting habits. And in 2006, there was a mayor's and chair's focus group that yielded insights about how to lead and implement green infrastructure changes. And Kelowna was one of four cities, including Chilliwack, Surrey, and Courtney. And we were an early adopter of the water balance model. So beyond the guidebook, 2010 was an outcome. And I know that you'll hear more about that this morning. Uh, this tool was extremely helpful as we all look at the process of urban watershed plans that are outcome oriented. And on Monday this week, um, it's interesting, this will be a prime case study for those of you that, um, I just pulled my, my report off the website. Um, we're re just um, recently, there's a major uh, fire, industrial <coughs> fire, uh, not far from here. And there were huge impacts as a result of that fire that impacted our storm drainage system. So as a result of that, our staff have, uh, have a report that is coming to council on Monday and just describes how we, how we are all connected. And I think that's what this conference is about. It's about you know making sure that you understand from the rain to how the, wa the water is used in our community, how it's, it's protected in, in the storm drainage impact. Um, the uh, fire certainly brought that to our attention. So if you get a chance to go on our website, you'll see the report. But it talks about that similar instance, incidences like this will occur in the future, and almost any city in the world will have uh, something similar happen. Major fire responses can result in impacts of drainage systems and downstream receive, receiving uh, um, things such as debris, heated water, various chemical cons constituents, and even chlorine from the water system, which depending on their volume and concentration can have negative impacts on aquatic life. So that fire actually brought a lot of recognition to how some things we didn't know about how our storm drainage uh, was connected, some of the, the history around our storm drainage, but what some of the things we have to think about for the future. So I'm going to end just by uh, saying there is a Water Day, uh, World Water Day, International World Water Day, and I also see that there's now a promotion for water, I'm just trying to get my water week, and that's for... Uh, for uh, water usage, and, and so that's uh, on a, in the May time frame. But the Water uh, World Day is in uh, March, and that was designated um, as uh, in 1993, March 22nd. And uh, many communities are celebrating uh, Water Week now versus Water Day. So I encourage all of you to uh, think about that in your own community. And just a reminder that uh, rainwater is a commodity we've not seen to have a lot of sometimes, certainly uh, in the Okanagan, but that we need to use it with care and uh, restore it positively. So hopefully you'd get a lot of out of this conference. And thank you very much for choosing Kelowna and uh, for choosing this particular facility uh, to have host your conference.